Space exploration is an awe-inspiring endeavor that pushes the boundaries of human knowledge and capabilities. The space race is truly one of the most inspiring tales in history, marked by the Soviet Union's remarkable strides in space exploration, placing them as front runners and potentially surpassing the United States. However, amidst their vast achievements, there are several secrets and untold stories that remain concealed from the public and even their space rival. Joe Rogan, the host of the Joe Rogan Experience, recently exposed some shocking truths about the Soviet Union's secret discoveries revealed by a prominent Soviet astronaut before his death. The Soviet astronaut breaks his silence before his death and reveals terrifying secrets about the Soviet Union. What are these many secrets and how long has the Soviet Union kept them hidden? And how would they affect our knowledge of the cosmos? Join us as we journey through the mysteries of the universe, uncovering secrets that have left the whole world terrified. The Soviet Union is known to be quite aggressive for its quest for outer space knowledge. This aggressive passion has opened doors to a number of discoveries in outer space, making it one of the leading agencies to make groundbreaking discoveries that would forever change the course of history. However, in addition to these remarkable discoveries, the Soviet Union has a big skeleton in their wardrobe. But recently, a Soviet astronaut broke the silence on these secrets that have been hidden from the public for decades. The secrets will be uncovered in the later part of the video. But before that, let us explore the various remarkable space achievements of the Soviet Union. On October 4, 1957, the Soviet Union launched Sputnik 1, the first man-made object to orbit the Earth. Global reaction to this space achievement ranged from anxiety to glee. While some people feared that a world power capable of blasting an object into space might also launch missiles against foreign targets, others believed the satellites ushered in an exciting new era of human history. Notwithstanding the politics of the Cold War, Sputnik 1 captured the popular imagination with its interactive capabilities. Ham radio operators anywhere on Earth could dial in Sputnik's distinctive beeping sound as it orbited. With a bit of assistance from field glasses, casual viewers could see the satellite as it passed overhead. Sputnik 1 remained in orbit until January 4, 1958, when it burned up upon re-entering Earth's atmosphere. Ultimately, the launch of the first artificial satellite spurred many countries, including the United States, to pursue space initiatives and uncover the next remarkable find from outer space. The dominance of the early Sputnik satellite in space was short-lived because the satellite was not designed to withstand re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. Nonetheless, the Soviets did not give up on looking for a solution to the newly encountered problem. The Soviets undertook a series of experiments with animals abroad the orbiters to test the feasibility of manned spaceflight. One of the unlucky dogs named Laika became the first animal to travel into space. Sadly, she did not return alive. After similar unsuccessful missions, the Soviets encountered a breakthrough. On August 19, 1960, the Soviets launched a pair of female dogs, Belka and Strelka, into space aboard a new spacecraft called Vostok. These two dogs became international media darlings when their module safely parachuted down after orbiting Earth for 24 hours. The K-9 cosmonauts retired after this sole trip. Later, Strelka delivered a litter of six puppies, one of which was given as a gift to Jacqueline Kennedy. Eventually, Belka and Strelka died of old age and were stuffed for posterity. They could be viewed at the Cosmonauts Museum in Moscow. Long before Neil Armstrong walked on the lunar surface, the Soviets reached the moon. Between 1959 and 1976, the country's Luna program deployed a number of probes to significantly expand Earthlings' understanding of the satellite. The Luna 1 probe performed the first successful flyby of the moon. But more significantly, Luna 2 became the first human artifact to reach the moon when it crashed near the Sea of Serenity on September 14, 1959. Later that year, the Luna 3 probe took the first photograph of the far side of the moon. To add to the record of groundbreaking discoveries, Luna 9 in 1966 achieved the first soft landing of an object on the moon and transmitted the first close-up photos of the lunar surface. Luna 16 became the first unmanned craft to return soil samples from the moon in 1970. Interestingly, at the same time, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin of Apollo 11 were unfurling the American flags on the moon in 1969. The Soviet Union's Luna 15 probe crashed there in an unsuccessful attempt to return soil samples. This incident represented another milestone. The first space cooperation between the two superpowers occurred when the Soviet Union released the flight plans for Lunar 15 to ensure it would not collide with the Apollo capsule. Riding a tide of success in space, the Soviet Union set out to achieve the next logical accomplishment, which is putting a man into space. 
On April 12, 1961, cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin circled Earth once in the Vostok spacecraft before ejecting 20,000 feet above the planet and parachuting safely down, making him the first human to venture beyond Earth's atmosphere into space. This achievement rocked the world, not only sending the U.S. scrambling to even the score, but also opening up the door to myriad of possibilities that human space exploration could not unlock. Gagarin's flight was the shortest manned mission in space history, lasting just 108 minutes from takeoff to touchdown. After the flight, Gagarin achieved celebrity status and toured the world extensively to promote the Soviet program. Unfortunately, his period of fame was short-lived as Gagarin met an untimely death at age 34 when he and a colleague were killed in a crash of a MiG fighter jet during a routine training mission March 27, 1968. After the success of Yuri Gagarin's spaceflight in 1961, the Soviet Union immediately turned to the idea of putting a woman in space. They marshaled a female cosmonaut corps that underwent extensive training and on June 16, 1963, Valentina Tereshkova lifted off in the Vostok 6 for three days on Earth orbits. In order to fly a cosmonaut, Tereshkova had to be a member of the Soviet Air Force, so she was honorarily inducted prior to liftoff. During her spaceflight, Tereshkova performed experiments that tested the effects of weightlessness on a female body and also took photographs to help scientists identify an aerosol layer in Earth's atmosphere. She went on to become a cosmonaut engineer and a prominent communist government official. In an interview in 2007, Tereshkova expressed her desire to return to space. She said, if I had the money, I would fly to Mars. This was the dream of the first cosmonauts. I wish I could realize it. I am ready to fly without coming back. In order to break the bonds of encapsulated spaceflight, the Soviet space program developed the first pressurized spacesuits and created the first multi-person spacecraft called the Voskhod. The Voskhod 1 mission took on a trio of cosmonauts into space in October 1964. The real glory went to Voskhod 2's Alexei Leonov, who on March 18, 1965, became the first person to free float space. Of course, the mission was not without drama, as Leonov encountered a near-death experience. As Leonov encountered in a book that summarized this experience, his pressurized suit became bloated during the 10-minute float in zero gravity, making it impossible for him to re-enter the capsule. Over the course of a few tense minutes, Leonov bled off some of the oxygen in his suit so he could squeeze back through the narrow three-foot-wide airlock. Still, Leonov said the experience of floating alongside the spacecraft was moving. He is famously quoted as saying he felt like a seagull with wings outstretched, soaring high above the Earth. Now retired, Leonov paints scenes of the Earth as he viewed it during his space flights. It is worth noting that the Soviet Union landed a robotically controlled rover on the moon in 1979. Lunacold, which means moonwalker in Russian, launched on November 10, 1970 and achieved a soft landing near the lunar Sea of Rains on November 17. Measuring over 70 feet long, Lunacold 1 ran on eight wheels and was equipped with four television cameras and an X-ray spectrometer, among other items. The rover roamed around the lunar surface for nearly a year, analyzing soil samples and transmitting photographs. Lunacold 1 stopped communicating on September 4, 1971. Its precise location on the moon was unknown until 2010 when researchers using information from NASA successfully bounced a laser beam off Lunacold 1's light reflector, an item originally designed to help detect its position. Since then, researchers have continued using Lunacode 1's reflector to conduct valuable ranging experiments that measure the moon's movement in space. Moments before his death, a Soviet Union cosmonaut revealed a panicking secret. Recently, Joe Rogan, a podcaster and TV host, exposed the shocking truth about the Soviet Union's secret discoveries revealed by a prominent Soviet cosmonaut. The Soviet program is renowned for its secrecy. Some information is kept classified for reasons best known to them. But recently, those secrets have come out in the open. The chilling last words of an experienced cosmonaut can be heard as he fell to death during a space mission. <laughs> This incident was the first major setback the Soviet program would experience. It happened April 1967 when Vladimir Komarov was killed when the parachute that was supposed to settle his Soyuz 1 capsule on the ground failed to open. It was the first in-flight death of a man in space and became a big embarrassment to the program. 
Details surrounding Komarov's death have been shrouded in mystery due to the secrecy of the Soviet Union. As a result of the setback encountered by the Soviet Union, the U.S. eventually beat them to the moon. Hence, the country turned its attention to sending unmanned probes to the moon and Venus. In addition to this revelation, Joe Rogan also delved into the realm of extraterrestrial phenomena, exposing some startling information that has been hidden from the public. The Soviet Union made significant advancement in space exploration during the Cold War, including their exploration of Mars and there may be potential evidence of terrestrial life waiting to be discovered. Extraterrestrial contact seems to have been made about 25 years ago by the Soviet Union. On September 27, 1989, according to the official report released by the Soviet press agency TAS, tall three-eyed aliens with small heads showed up in the city of Voronezh, arriving in a shiny ball or alternatively a banana-shaped object and bringing with them their robots. Scientists have confirmed that an unidentified flying object landed in a Russian city park. They have also identified the landing site and found traces of aliens who paid a short visit to the park as they left behind two pieces of unidentified rocks made of a substance that cannot be found on Earth. Can there be other unexplained phenomena, alien civilizations, or encounters that have been deliberately kept secret? I guess we will find out in time. The modern age of space exploration exists largely because of the actions of two countries that competed to get the first people on the moon, the United States and the former Soviet Union. Today, space exploration efforts include more than 70 countries with research institutes and space agencies. The Soviet Union's secret discoveries in space exploration remain concealed from the public and their space rivals, raising questions about the true extent of their achievements. What discovery did you find most intriguing? The first satellite to successfully land in space? Two cute dogs who successfully navigated their way around their orbit? The first man and woman in space? The first spacewalk by a man? Or the first remote controlled rover? What about the terrifying revelation revealed on the deathbed of a Soviet cosmonaut? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.